Hello everybody, my name is Dante from Low Mana Gamers and welcome to Law Watch. In this episode, we'll be taking a closer look at Winston. After the end of the Omnic Crisis, Overwatch expanded into multiple disciplines. One of these was the advancement of scientific research, and to this end, the Horizon Lunar Colony was created on the moon. Among the scientists stationed there was Dr. Harold Winston, one of the many there to further the field of space exploration. One aspect of this research involved the housing of genetically enhanced gorillas, designed to advance the understanding of prolonged space habitation. A single gorilla swiftly stood out from the rest. The gene therapy they had all undergone had had a remarkable impact on his brain's development. With drastically increased cognitive abilities, he was able to learn at an accelerated rate, absorbing information. Impressed, Dr. Winston took the young gorilla under his wing and began to teach him science and the stories of how mankind came to be what it is today. This peaceful existence could not last forever, and while the young gorilla was flourishing under Dr. Winston's tutelage, his fellow primates were not as content with their lives. Eventually, they revolted, and in the ensuing uprising, all of the scientists were killed, Dr. Winston included. It can be assumed that they were predisposed to look kindly upon their fellow gorilla, as he was left unharmed, but the loss of his mentor hit him hard. Taking up his name and donning his spectacles, Winston the Gorilla set about fulfilling his dream of visiting Earth. Over time, he had become a brilliant scientist in his own right and was able to construct a rocket powerful enough to propel him to his new life on Earth, and in the organisation responsible for creating him, Overwatch. Joining Overwatch at the height of the Golden Age, his mentor had instilled in Winston a belief that they represented everything good and noble about humanity. Under the leadership of Strike Commander Morrison, this is exactly what he found, and Overwatch readily welcomed Winston with his remarkable intellect. They had, after all, had a large part in creating him, and he represented some small success in the otherwise failed Horizon Lunar Colony experiment. Overwatch proved to be the perfect home for Winston, and during his time there he developed into a remarkable scientist. Most notable was his success where all others failed, in the case of Lena Oxton, call sign Tracer, and the coronal disassociation she suffered after a testing accident that saw her fade from time. Winston's ingenuity came to the fore and he developed the coronal accelerator, anchoring Tracer to the present and allowing her to control the flow of time around her at will. This act began the start of a lifelong friendship between the two, and they would often be found together, either on the front line against the enemies of humanity or enjoying some R&R &R back at the base. Winston is not only a scientist, however, and on occasion, use of his innate strength was required in defense of Overwatch and those it protected. No time demonstrated better than his defeat of Doomfist, a fight so legendary that it is remembered by adults and children alike to this day. Winston's actions during the fall of Overwatch are not yet known, but given his nature, it can be assumed that he would have supported Morrison. Even though Overwatch is gone, Winston continues to champion its best aspects and even now is looking to reform it for the good of mankind. Taking the former Overwatch Watchpoint Gibraltar base as his home, he has utilised the facility's former purpose as a communications and monitoring station to launch a satellite with the ultimate aim of restoring Overwatch's worldwide comms network. Working with an entity known only as Athena, Winston hopes to reunite his former comrades and find new remarkable individuals to bring into the fold. His love of humanity and Overwatch matched only by his love of peanut butter, if he succeeds in his goals, the world will surely once again be a brighter, safer place. Thanks for watching this episode of Law Watch. If you liked this episode, please hit that like button, and if you'd like to see more, please subscribe. In the next episode, we'll be looking at the Overwatch poster girl, Tracer. I've been Dantir, thanks for watching.